What's up guys, it's Pooch K. I'm back to finishing our video and let me tell you, you guys are in for a treat and a half today. Uh, just got back from the Hofstra card show and I lost my mind a little bit, but that's okay because it's the first show I went to in over six months and I had some extra money to spend. So, I'm going to show you guys that. Uh, this is pr definitely the best video I'm ever going to put on YouTube. I will never replicate the cards that I have here. So, you guys are going to see that in a couple minutes, but first I'm going to show you guys... Uh, a few pickups from this week. First, did a trade with Anthony Jenna. Gave him a Dice Game on Tusaka signed baseball. Picked up this uh, Jesse Biddle, Bone Platinum, on card rookie autograph. James Ramsey, Inception, bad autograph. Uh, inscribed 1 Corinthians 1031. And the piece of the deal, the card I was really interested in from 2013 Platinum. An Addison Russell, on card rookie autograph. So, really like that. Thanks a lot, Amp. Next, uh, a recently founded company, Cash for Graphs. Isaiah Franco is the founder, I believe. A uh, very legitimate company. They do all high-end signings at very low prices. So I was able to get this Reggie Jackson piece done. I actually bought it signed by the pitchers and catchers who took part in his three-home run game. Bought it about six months ago, unsigned by Jackson for 30 bucks, And was able to add Reggie Jackson. Just to give you guys a little bit of an idea on the pricing of this guy. He always provides proof picks, so you know everything's 100% legit. But uh, at the shows that I've been to, and I've been to Reggie Jackson appearances several times, he has been starting at $99. Uh, Isaiah has him starting at 65 So that's a significant price decrease, $35 less starting at. So really nice. Definitely going to get that framed and matted. Gorgeous piece. All right, so now here are the card show pickups. Uh, a couple lesser things before I get into the real meat and potatoes of everything. Uh was running a little bit late. Uh, the main guy actually made the drive for for the autograph signing. Kevin Mitchell signed a baseball on the sweet spot, inscribed 89 NL MVP. Really happy to add that. He was only 25 bucks, so figure for 25 bucks in the price of the ball, he couldn't go wrong. So thank you, Anthony, once again. All right, here's where it's going to start to pick up tempo a little bit. First, uh, these are my dad's. Bought a couple Thurman Munson Relic cards from 2012 Prime Cuts. Grabbed this regular swatch and grabbed a timeline spelling out tugboat. Five piece, six piece, whatever you want to call it, seven piece. So those are a couple really nice Munson cards. All right, now it's going to get nuts. I bought all of these cards from the same seller who made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Yes, I'm quoting the Godfather. I was just like asking him because he had a bunch of high-end cards. My... My original plan was to take one or two back with me, but I took them all because he was like, all right, look, I, I'm packing up soon. I got to make some money. I'll give you all these cards for this price. And he wound up giving me everything for about a quarter less what they do on eBay. So I made money on this deal, even though I was the one who was paying him. But if I wanted to flip these, I can make a big profit probably, which I'm not going to do because these are all PC cards. So the first card I'm going to show you guys is out of 07 UD Premier, numbered 39 of 86, a Premier penmanship autograph of Bo Jackson. Really nice. It is a sticker, but uh, Jackson's autograph, for some reason, is going up in price, which I find asinine. But he's an autograph that's been eluding me for a while and that I've wanted, so really happy to have a Bo Jackson autograph in the collection, finally. Second, saw this card and had to have it. Out of 2013-2014 Panini Dominion, a two-color patch autograph of one of the greatest Rangers of all time. My dad's favorite player, 94 Stanley Cup champion, the Messiah, Mark Messier. Two-color patch, auto, numbered 3450. The autograph's on card, too, so that's really nice. Really, really like that. The last show he did, he was, I think, $100 per, so just an idea of what his autograph does. But really happy for that, to have that. The next three cards that I got off of this seller are all Josh Hamilton cards. You guys know I have a knack for Josh Hamilton. You guys know I have a very high-end Josh Hamilton PC. Each one of these three cards are easily fitting into the top five, if not top three cards in my collection of Josh Hamilton. So first one, out of this year's tops, it was a redemption, and it was a card that has been eluding me because sellers on eBay do not realize that it's not worth 200 bucks. I paid nowhere near that and was finally able to lock down the Josh Hamilton Strata autograph. It's like the whole shadow box thing signed on top. Number to 25, 24, 25. That's a one, two, three, four, five color patch inside. It would have been nice if it was more centered, but it's a really nice patch. Uh, the Part of the camo uniform that they wore. 
and these things are thick as anything. Ah, uh, hold on, let's get the Messier patch auto because that's obviously a thick card to compare to. There's the Messier, and then there's the Hamilton, so it's almost double the size of that. So, kind of ridiculous, but really love that card. Another uh, Hamilton card that's been eluding me for a while. Next one, another card that I haven't been able to get a piece of. Number 206 at a National Treasures, another chase card that I've been wanting for a while. Josh Hamilton, button autograph. What more do I need to say on that? Uh, button autographs of his for some reason, number to six, they're always overpriced on eBay. Anything on eBay with Hamilton and stuff like that's overpriced for some reason. But like I said, the deal I got from the seller, couldn't pass it up. Now, what in God's name is the last card? I saw it, didn't even think to ask him how much it would be because it was a one one and I was afraid of how expensive it was going to be. But I was cut a great deal on this from 2013 Triple Threads. The only the second one one I have of him. Triple Threads Jumbo Plus Autograph Relic Book Card. Fortunately, it's not a sick patch. But nonetheless, it is the Josh Hamilton variation. Numbered one of one, as you guys can see right there. Dual jersey, jumbo on the right, autograph up top. Absolutely in love with that card. So, I think I had a nice show. Just a little bit of uh, input there. I want you guys to tell me what your favorite card from the show was. So please drop a comment let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. I didn't spend all this money for nothing. Now I'm just messing with you guys. But if you don't mind, please do shoot it a thumbs up. That's all I got for now, guys. I hope you enjoy these cards as much as I do. Thanks for watching. Peace.